What's up friends, this is Grandma Diggs and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be looking at the test server as we looked at yesterday. But this time, we're going to be focusing on it. Mainly the demeanor, this new robot that you see me using right now. With Weber. Or, and the crazy far jump raven that I discovered. So no one's going for that beacon, I don't know why. All my team is going over here. And so I'm gonna, while I'm capturing this beacon, I'm gonna tell you guys what this new robot basically does. And this should have been a hit, but nope. I don't know why, probably a bug. So the demeanor has eight seconds of ability. Once you activate it, and, and you're looking at a player with that blue, you teleport behind them after two or three seconds, and then you can do a big healing pulse, which is basically like the tire. And then you have an indestructible shield like the Ares, and you basically heal like the tire. So it's basically a teleporting tire with an Ares shield. Or you can just not teleport if you don't have any uh, teammates in sight. And it only works for 500 meters, so you can't do it across the map. So this guy, killer, is getting, being killed. And I'm going to help this guy, teleporting behind him, jumping, hitting that guy, doing the healing pulse, and then going back after the scorpion. Already have a few people, boom, hitting this guy. Uh, there's this other guy, hitting him, and going off successfully with nothing else here. And so we have this, looks like a raker. Who uses rakers in the test server? That guy. So I'm teleporting behind him. I teleport. And then look at his health. Boom. Big healing pulse. And this could be who's going down. Bang. Oh. Oh, okay. We got him down. That guy glaciered him. This guy getting hit hard. Uh, while I'm doing this, I'm going to say bug ch changes and fixes and nerfs and buffs. So the, um, the scorpion and hawk have been nerfed. The hawk, as I was saying on the last video, um, they um, don't have any reflector when going up and going back down. Uh, and also, the other thing is, my ch scrap robots because there's a net deal going at our beacon. And so the thing is that and the nightingale, when it flies, it doesn't have as much flight time and um, it flies higher, meaning that it can't capture beacons in its mode. And also the scorpion has got a nerf. It has 30% resistance instead of 50 and it only has 10 seconds of going behind the enemy. So when you teleport behind, you only have 10 seconds to be there and then teleport out. It used to be 15, but they changed that. So going here with the demeanor, jumping at them. The hockey boy over there, I'm using this setup. It moves kind of like a Nodens. And it's a very overpowered bot, because look at how much damage I've taken. Look at it, I'm down to last stand. Looks all like that, and then I just teleport out of here, look at my health, boom! Back to maximum, or as, ma as high as I can heal. It's crazy how much that healing pulse does. I feel like it should be a little bit less. And the teleporting range should be 400. Otherwise, this robot will dominate all. And also, new weapon logos, as you can see on the bottom right corner of my screen. Um, the Havocs have new, like, um, new, like, anim, um, whatever you call those things. <laughs> I'm blinking the word right now. And all the other weapons. Uh, looks like that guy's gonna get taken down. Finish the job. Kill the raven. Bam. Got him. And we have a Vortex Spectre. Uh, might jump after him. That's the funny thing with this. We can't hit me. So he's doing that. I'm gonna activate my ability. And he's dead. I'm gonna trigger the healing pulse. And... There's a node in here. Okay, I died. Minos time! I wanna drop in. I don't know where. Probably, yeah, here. Minos running in. We have one node in right here. 
I'll hopefully kill this guy. He's not shooting at me. Now he is. I'm gonna activate my ability. Doing major damage to him with his squall weapons. Bam. 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 And he's killed. Anybody else? This guy? Oh, he's landed. No one else is really dropping in. This guy just dropped in with the um, ring. I see a guy to my right, as you can see by the arrow. But I want to finish this guy. Looks like... Oh. Uh oh. So this guy just dropped in an Aminos. Time to mess him up. Come on, feed me your Aminos. Bam. He has full health and I have less health than him. That's the problem. So, I'm gonna go at him right here. I'm trying to get him to, yes, use his ability. And now I'm gonna go right here. And now he's missing his shots. I'm gonna activate mine. Bam. 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 As you can see, I baited him to use his ability, and then I'm gonna use my ability. Uh, so I basically have the advantage. And I was able to beat him with low, lower health. We have the same setup, by the way. Yeah, had Squall Nodens, at, or Squall Aminos, I had Squall Aminos. So we have another guy here. I think if I have another Aminos, that, yeah, that guy's gonna kill me. There's no, I have no chance of getting out. So this guy right here is flying up. I'm gonna activate my reflector. And then I'm gonna come in and try to boost him out of here. Get out. <laughs> That's one of the fun things. I'm hitting this guy. Yeah, he's gonna kill me. Hold on. Okay, here we are. With a jumping demeanor. Jumping at this guy. Doing a good amount of damage. I have the one cryo to freeze him up and then the flames to flame him out. Flaming and cryo in and smacking this guy. I'm gonna teleport behind my friend right now. Boop. Also, this is probably, maybe it's a glitch, I don't know. But whenever you activate your ability, everybody on your team gets a little bit of health. I don't know if that's intentional or not. So, going back to the gameplay here, this guy's taking a lot of damage from two guys. I'm gonna try to take this guy down to last stand. Hitting this guy a little bit. I'm gonna follow my friend. Jump, do a little bit of damage, and then teleport behind him, do a that healing blast. And give him some support. And the shields took him down, it looked like. This is this guy I'm gonna fire at, hopefully destroy. So we have a scorpion, another uh, friendly scorpion just teleported behind him. This guy is being very annoying. I'm gonna teleport behind that hawk right there. Jump after this guy, hopefully finish him, and I got him. I think, yep. Huh. Okay, here we have the uh, attack raven. So you press the jump unit and the um, the built-in jump right, af right one after each other, and it makes that first super jump. So going in here, I I'm definitely gonna die, but hopefully I'm gonna take this typhoon with me. He shot me with his ability, but I have last stand running, and I got him. <laughs> That's the attack raven. Going on in the second match right here. Battle begins. We're on the map uh, castle. And I'm going to start probably with uh, machine gunning or laser gunning raven. Also, I'm doing the titan slaying Minos, which is the Minos that has um, retaliators. As you can see, normal jump unit and the Raven's jump together make that one super jump. Jumping to this beacon, and I'm the first one here. I'm gonna hide behind this little pillar. He's got the new uh, pulsar, small pulsar weapon, Magnetor, and the, the other guy's got the new uh, heavy wasp, which is called um, Hornet. Wasp Hornet. Kinda fits. I should do one called like the B, which is like the small version of it. I don't know. Coming up with names is a hard part of it. So here with my second Raven. Crazy jumping after this guy. I'm gonna jump over him. I think, yeah, he, do he didn't notice I was here yet. Now he does. This guy right here is gonna be annoying. This 
guy's probably gonna laser me in the back. I'm waiting for it. Yep, yep. Holy cow, that guy did a lot of damage. He has an overdrive eye on him. So I'm gonna jump after this guy, boink. And then do the raven jump. Right now. And I'm waiting for him to land a bang. And, oh, I get taken down. Uh, okay, here we are with the Minos. So we have something right there. Or try to push this guy off. Probably not gonna work, nope. And activating reflector. I feel like this is the best one. Well, it's not the best Minos, but the best Minos is, of course, the one with Squall. But what makes this one shine so well is you can pop out of cover, do tons of damage, way more than the Squall can do, and then you have to hide. The only downside of it is, if you, um, the only thing that makes this one not as good as the other one is you have to hide every 10 seconds. Also, new thing, the retaliators reload in 10 seconds. Not not 12, which is absolutely absurd. I feel like it should be eight, like it's counterpart brother. The vengeance, the vengeance, the vengeance, whatever. Almost push this guy off. I wanna activate reflector and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Mr. Typhoon, your ability has been reduced to 350 meters, not 500. Ha. Ah. Oh, we have a dying Ming over there. Get out of here. So uh, I guess this will wrap it up for today's video. I hope you like the content. Please like, leave a like and comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.